Hello and welcome to Visual Studio or Visual Basic Tutorials. In this I shall be talking about how to use Visual Basic simple and complex ways and if you have any questions or you would request something for me to do please say so in the comments below. Thank you. Alright then, so in today's video I'm going to be explaining about properties and other objects inside VB. It's open, go in here, or wherever you last saved it, which for me would be my documents, there, 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 here, until we find this symbol. This is the Visual Basic logo, well, sort of. That kind of like bow tie is, and then that's the show like form that shows which version's 2012. But basically, you want this when you see it. Open, and it opens it up, and I have all these. Right, I'm gonna be back in just a second. Okay, so I think I have everything. Now, first of all, you know that a button, you know what a button is and how it works and a label we used in the last video and showed we can output things but this was during something known as runtime which was when the user was in this state so it's running right now let's stop running um so labels don't always have to be invisible like this one is so in here we can go and we can leave little messages in here, as I also explained, so, hello, I am a label, there we go, they can be used for side notes, just in case, say you want to create a program which has some sort of calculator, it says, only put numbers, don't write words, so like that. Um, down here we have menu strip and timer. Timers are very useful. Menu strips can be useful if you're making, say, a game. So in here you can type in file, open, and um, I don't know, save, and then go into runtime. And look, you got it up here, you click this, and then, oh, these don't do anything because I haven't coded them yet. But you could code them to do something. Or you could change the background through an edit function or something. Um, picture boxes do basically what they say on the tin. You just go through the properties, find one called image, click on these three dots, import, and then you find something. So, pictures that you've selected this instead of none and blur you get this and you can change what it does so it can either stretch the image auto size it central image or zoom it so we can auto size it so then that means it will fit the picture box will fit the size of the image whereas I think zoom no Stretch image. Yeah, stretch image means that the image fits the size of the picture box. So it does the opposite. As you can see here. And that can be very useful if you want to make some sort of Pac-Man game. And have this move around the screen. Because this border is just there to tell you where the picture box is. But in runtime, that all disappears. And you're just left with a beautiful picture. Um, progress bars. You've probably seen them before in downloads, things like that. So, you can have maybe a button, you click it, and the progress bar equals 50%, and it goes bleh, up to 50%. Text boxes, the user can input things into them for like information, for like a calculator. You want to do 8 times 3, you type in 8, no wait, that's the star, type in Eight, and then you have another text box, type in three, then you click the button, does eight times three, equals, and then in a label, displays your answer. Uh, trackbar, so perhaps you could, 
say you want, if you're controlling this volume of something, like SAPI for example, which is a VB thing, which you have to code, um, so you want the volume to be in the middle, and this trackbar, the amount of intervals you can have changes through the properties, which I say, again, we'll be doing again in this video, hopefully. Uh, check boxes, check boxes, you can check more than one, unlike radio buttons, where you can only check one at a time. Look, uh, uh, it's not letting me. And I think I've just gone through all the major that we'll probably need controls. There might be others, but don't worry, I'll show you how to get them and you tell you their names and how to use them. Right, time to do the properties. <gasps> Thank goodness I finished from that. So, you saw about the properties in the picture box when we use that. Uh, so, let me just stretch this out a bit. So, I reach the edge of the form and stretch you up a bit. There we go. So, you can have, this is the properties, as you see there. And this is the event handlers. You can have them alphabetical or categorical. I have them categorical because it's much easier to remember everything is. And most things are easy to find in categorical because they have similar properties. Like for example, the name of it is going to be somewhere down here in design. And basically the same with pretty much everything else. The name is going to be down here in design rather than having it in alphabetic order, where it could be anywhere depending on the amount of other stuff you have in the way. Um, so, picture box. Main things that we're going to need, oh, also a form has its own properties and event handlers. Uh, so, main thing you're going to need for possible um, just programs in the future. Back colour. Um, the four color, form border style, right to left, um, text, very important. Let's see what else. Um, enabled can be very important for timers and stuff like that. Um, name is important. Uh, the no uh, oh I saw one I saw it the size is important start position can be important depending on your um, windows uh, uh, form border style um, icon can be important but that's just basically for the form um, and where is it? And there's another one which I can't cite. Also, for, also size as well. Um, but there's also another one which I can't remember the name of. That's it. Timers are much, much, much smaller because they don't do as much. You can see that I don't even have a scroll down here. Look at that. So all you've got is enabled intervals so timers work in milliseconds yeah milliseconds which means that a thousand intervals is one second so right now it's on one tenth of a second uh the name don't know what that does don't know what that does neither do i know what these two do but i can find out yep don't know what that does uh same with <clears throat> oh mm, that was strange um, menu strip, I've never really had to look at the properties of it, because same with the progress bar, and, well, actually the progress bar, maybe not, but the menu strip, not really, its name doesn't appear, it doesn't appear in runtime, so I think it's just something that I don't need to change the name of, and I've never really had to change whether it's enabled or not, or something like that. Progress bar has intervals. Um, just like the timer, but not in the same way. So it would start from the top, go through them. So, uh, it's back colour, is the control colour, which is kind of like a default colour. Same as the form, basically. Um, full colour, highlight, 
Um, no idea. Right to left. No. So that means that the progress bar doesn't go this way. It means it goes that way. Uh, let's see. Enable true. Animation speed 100. The, okay, so here are some stuff about the intervals and stuff. So the maximum you have is 100, meaning that if you set the progress bar value to 101, it's either not going to like it or it's just going to breach the end. But 100 is basically 100%. You can change this to like 10, and then if you set the value to 1, then it will grow one tenth of the way through, which is about here, maybe. Close enough. And the minimum is zero, so it will start this end being zero. Unless you change it. Uh, step, not really sure. Uh, the amount to increment, yeah, I understand that part. Perform when. Okay, so you just use perform method, um, perform step. Okay. Cool. Right now it's on a value of zero. So I can set it to 12. And as you see, our beautiful progress bar has already moved along. And then if we set it to 101. Ah, oh, okay. So it probably isn't going to like it. 100. Well, if we have the animation speed of 1. All your bases belong to us. Oh yes, uh, here's a thing to note. It doesn't really have an animation speed when you set it to a lower number. It just goes down. But when you set it to a higher number, it does. Oh. Oh. What, 1,000? One hundred. Okay, so I've no idea what's going on here, and you're going to stay at zero. Uh, visible. That's oh yes, that's an important one because you can turn things literally invisible when you run them. If I change the visibility to false right now, it isn't going to turn invisible right before us. It's going to turn invisible when we start the program, like so. So now, when we start the program, we shall no longer see. The progress bar, all gone, to its own little place. True, please. Um, again, the name, uh, anchor, oh, anchor is an important one. You can decide where to anchor it, so if you anchor it like that, then that means if I change the size of the form, it anchors. So its distance away from the edge of the form, and from here, will always stay the same, no matter how big or small I make the form. And as you can see, it can even go off. Um, but if you decide to want to mess it up really badly, like, I mean, really badly, anchor it to everything, and see how well you can do then. Watch. What is, what, 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 you're, you're going negative, watch, you do this and then it goes negative, what's going on, what, I'm so confused right now, so this is why I don't tr do this, I just leave it as it should be, as it should be, um, uh, what now, so, yeah, use uh, location. Ah, oh, that's an important one because you can set new location as well as size being important. Oh, you can also set minimum and maximum size. Interesting. So location. So this is X and Y, and this works in let's see, pixels from zero zero. Oops. From zero 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 being up here. And maximum form size so far, and maximum form size so far being over here. And I think it measures it from this block here, like this one that's rotating it. Rotating it. This one. 
So if I put it on zero zero, then that part will go on zero zero. And the rest of this will be going along. It's normal life, as it should be. Um, Checkboxes. Basically, everything, you'll start to see common things. So things like four color, back color. Um, text, name, visible, enabled, auto size, anchor. Anchor is basically on everything except for the form itself because the form can't anchor itself. Otherwise, that would be pretty stupid. Location, probably going to see a lot more of this minimum and maximum size, which I've never noticed before and I do not understand why. And size. So, yeah, on a whole, quite good. So you can see the intervals, but if we click on this, we can change those intervals. So let's have a look. So the minimum is zero, and the maximum is 10, but we can set that to 100, and now it looks really... You know what, don't worry. Um... But we can space this across our progress bar. And now we can actually see what... Oh, this isn't going to work, is it? No, of course not. Never does, does it? Something like that. Just accept that. But you basically get the general idea. And really, you can just go off and have a look. And it does give you tell you what these mean down here. Um, you know, so most of these things are self-explanatory. Like, if you're looking in I don't know, appearance, and then you see text you can probably guess what that is and right to left you can really guess what those are they're pretty self-explanatory some things aren't as self-explanatory um how much time are we uh, we're doing quite a bigger video i think i'll try and quickly squ squeeze events in but i won't like go over them for a long time Events are basically, they just basically are events. When something happens, this happens. And actually, I'll save events for next video. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll do events next video.